Why is the sun up there and hasn't come crashing on us yet? In fact, why does the sun appear during the day and makes way for the moon at night? How do wet clothes under the sun rays get dry? What causes rain? How do rainbows form? How exactly does soil form? How do seeds germinate? How does electricity and television signals get into our homes? And why does water boil at 100 degrees Celsius at normal pressure? These questions and many more are the questions science provides the knowledge that we need to be, to be able to answer them. But what exactly is science? Science is knowledge. It is what is known or proven as a result of careful observations and study of simple and complex things within and around us. Science isn't guesswork or myth. Instead, it is empirical. That is, it is based on hard proven facts. So rather than guess or believe that a fairy sprinkles water from a high tower onto land as rain, we now know from careful observations and studies that rain forms as a result of several natural processes that involves the sun, water bodies like oceans, air, and even mountains. Science is systematic. This means that it supplies answers to questions through step-by-step -step actions and methods. For example, people probably observed over time that pools of water dry under the hot sun and then light clouds become dark and heavy and it probably becomes windy and cold before it rains. Then, they made a few reasonable thoughts about this and then tested their thoughts step by step and over and over again to arrive at the conclusion that there are several natural processes and natural things involved in rain formation. And of course, their conclusion still stands still today. Science is interesting and not as difficult as you think. You may not necessarily be a scientist. That's what people who are highly educated in and use science to solve problems are called, by the way. But you sure do need the knowledge and methods of science to be able to answer most of the numerous puzzles and questions that you have encountered and will continue to encounter as you grow. In this lesson, you have learned that science is proven knowledge obtained from careful observation and study. It is empirical, it is based on hard proven facts, and it is systematic. I hope you still remember what that means. You have begun your study of the very basics of science by learning its nature. Let's continue in the next lesson. It only gets easier.